Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's current security plan is unworkable. Though Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex announced their intent to step away from the British royal family in January 2020, the royal couple is just now releasing details about the lives after Megxit. As of April 1, 2020, the Sussexes will no longer be working royals. However, since the pair are so high profile, they won't exactly become regular everyday citizens. As they begin to pave an independent life for themselves and their son, Archie Harrison, they will still very much be in the public eye. As they move between the UK and North America tackling various business ventures, the Duke and Duchess will need extensive security. Unfortunately, as it stands right now, their current security plan just doesn't work. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have outlined their Megxit security details. Though the Sussexes will be spending a good chunk of March in the UK finishing out their final royal duties, the duo will return to live on Vancouver Island in Canada and possibly Malibu, California for the summer. Therefore, though they are seeking financial independence, the Sussexes will still require extensive security. It is agreed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will continue to require effective security to protect them and their son, they said in a statement on their website. This is based on the Duke's public profile by virtue of being born into the royal family, his military service, the Duchess' own independent profile, and the shared threat and risk level documented specifically over the last few years. No further details can be shared as this is classified information for safety reasons. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been having security drama. When they are in Canada, the Sussexes have been pretty reclusive, living in a $14 million mansion which is set behind security cameras, tarp, and fences. They've had just two quick trips to the United States, one to Miami and the other to Stanford University following their Megxit announcement. Unfortunately, their new lives have already caused drama. They have 15 highly trained armed clothes protection experts guarding them 24 hours a day. While the guys are happy to be out there doing the jobs, there is a feeling they are carrying out menial tasks, like picking up takeaways and groceries, an insider told the Sunday they are clothes protection officers, and should be sticking solely to clothes protection rather than running errands. It is dangerous for one thing because if something were to happen it would not be good if one of them was away running an errand or picking up coffee. And they are the ones who would get it in the neck from their bosses if they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's post megxit security plan isn't feasible. It looks like there is more drama to come regarding the Sussex's security. According to Mirror, the Met Police who staff the Sussex's security officers are woefully understaffed and won't be able to keep up. In their current state the plans are unworkable, ex-Met Protection Officer Di Davis told Mirror. Harry and Meghan's situation has called for a complete ripping up of the rulebook and they are acting like none of the rules apply to them. There is already a severe lack of trained officers and this is only adding to the Met's woes. The average salary of a protection officer is in excess of £106,000 and, on current standing, Harry and Meghan need at least 12 if not more split over several teams travel, accommodation bills and overtime payments are set to explode, with residences in multiple countries. Training for extra officers plus potential relocation payments to some who may be permanently based abroad has led to a complete reworking of the situation. Someone is going to have to pay for this in the end. I support the freedom of Harry and Meghan to choose a more private life, but serious questions must now be asked about who is going to foot this ballooning security bill particularly when they plan to travel for personal or commercial reasons, Labour MP Stephen Dowdy said last week.